second quiz uh, from Math 211. Uh, so what you're supposed to do is shade in the appropriate regions. So for this first one, you want to find the difference of B and A. You want to start out with B. So start out with this entire circle right here and then get rid of anything from this circle that happens to fall in this circle right here. So what you would have left would be this shaded region right here. All right, almost all of B, just get rid of that little bit that's also an A. What about over here? Well, over here, you're starting out with all of C, so starting out with this thing right here, uh, but then you got got to get rid of some of it. What are you going to get rid of? Anything that is in either A or in B. So I start out with all of C, but I get rid of this part because it's in A, and then I get rid of this part because it's in B, so all that I have left would be this guy, which is kind of the answer to this one. Oh, well. Um, okay, and then over here, you're finding the intersection of B and C, so that's the stuff that falls in both B and C. I'm talking about this football region right here. But then you want to find the union of that set and A. So my final answer is anything that's in this little football region right here or that happens to fall in A. So all of this stuff out here. I guess that's good enough for the shading. All right, moving on. This one looks very similar, but it's actually quite different. Over here, we're finding the intersection of two sets. So to be in the intersection of two sets, it has to be in both sets. It has to be in set A, which is this big circle right here, and also in the set B union C. Well, B union C is this kind of big figure eight shape right here, I guess. So you're looking for the region that's in this figure eight that also falls within A. It's talking about this region right here. And is that another one of the answers down here? No, good. Uh, all right, moving on. I don't know why I'm shading these in more. But here we are. Okay, so C complement, take away B. That's pretty tricky. So C complement is everything that's not in C. So picture the entire diagram except for this circle right here. So everything outside of this circle right here, all this stuff, all this stuff, the outside area here. But I don't want to keep all of that. I want to erase anything that's in B. So essentially what I'm going to end up with is anything that is not in C and also not in B. I think I said that right. Um, the way I'm going to shade it will be everything except for that region in there. So I know nobody cares that my shading is exact, but I don't want it to look too bad. So I'm going to try to just kind of fill in a few more regions and then maybe I'll talk about this one one more so start out with everything that's not in C so shade in everything except for C but then erase from your shading anything that happens to be in B so erase this part right here and what y'all have left over is this stuff in blue all right C minus B the complement of that well we've done these differences before we did B minus A and the idea is you start out with all of B and then you erase anything that happens to fall in A. Over here, I'm going to start out with all of C, and then I'm going to erase anything that also happens to be in B. So if I just think about C minus B, what I'm talking about is this little crescent-shaped moon right here. This is C minus B. But that's not what I want. I want the complement of that. So I want everything except for that little crescent-shaped moon. So let's see if I can shade in everything other than that little crescent-shaped moon. That's just about everything. So a way you can check your answers on these ones where you're taking the complement of something is think about the region that's just in white right here. Is this region in white represented as C minus B? Sure, it's all of C except get rid of the stuff that's in B. Okay, so the region in white is C minus B, so the region that's not in white is the complement of that. Okay, and now what you're doing is I'm giving you the answer and asking you the question, essentially. I'm saying, how, what question could I have asked you for you to shade in this region right here? And maybe I'll write this somewhere. Answers may vary. Multiple answers. Are possible down here. Not up here. 
but for this one, that's the case. Uh, but I think the easiest way, or for me, the easiest way is I look at this like it's almost all of A. So I'll start out with A. It's just I, if I start out with all of A, I'd have this entire circle. So I have to kind of erase some stuff. Well, what am I going to erase? I'm going to get rid of anything that is in this big figure eight. I'm going to get rid of B union C. And as I said, I think we did that one before. It's very similar to this one where you took away C. Oh, I did this one wrong. Well, I'm glad I came back here. Uh, in this one, I was taking away the intersection of A and B. And the intersection of A and B is this region right here. Uh, so really, I'm going to start out with C and get rid of anything that is in both A and B. So I'm only getting rid of this little region right here. Glad I checked these. Maybe I should do that more carefully. Anyways, back down here. This is completely different now. No reason to refer back to that other one. Uh, what about this second one? Well, to me, this almost looks like this figure 8, which I know is A union C. Um, but it's not quite A union C, because I have to get rid of this part of it. I have to get rid of anything that also falls in B. So these would serve as those two answers. All the shaded ones hopefully are correct now that I've made this fix up here. I saw in these solutions here.